Hey guys, uh, I don't have live bait today. I forgot to bring my lighter rig, but I do have some frozen dead baits. So I have some uh, scad, some opillu. So um, I'm gonna show what I do is I, I use, you can use four out. I think I should be using two out in, in, because these are kind of small, but uh, that's all I have. And I'm using some 60 pound test floral stretch, floral stretch from soft steel. So this is what it's gonna look like my rig here see that this this is already in there you can tie it in um, but you don't have to now what I'm gonna do is take the end hook here and get my fish now you can imagine normally I use fish twice this big this is a small one so what I'm gonna do go up through the fish like so and this is why I got used, rather use the big ones, because it's gonna rip it up for me to do this. I don't know if I can. Let's see. Shove this through. Ah, ah. should have had big ones there. See? Now, normally you would just have to go through. Let's see. Position myself from here go through oh these things are soft because they were in the freezer all right go to one time like so I might have to use bait thread on this to keep it on because it's soft oh man this is squishy soft but I'm gonna show what I do to so go to one time like so Then I'm gonna go through right there, I'm gonna go through a second time. Like so. Oh yeah, this is really soft guys. It's ripping it up, so I'm just gonna go completely through it on this part here. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm just gotta have to go completely through. Alright, normally I'll just do what I did on the other one. There. Okay. I'm gonna get some thread. I'm gonna tie that on. So, because I need the thread, because it's soft already. It's not firm like you would expect with a bigger, larger one that is fresh and not frozen. So, see this loose hook here? I'll show you why. I have it loose normally I would just put it through the lip here but it's soft it's really really soft so what I'm gonna do this time is just see that I'm just gonna loop it through once hold on pull it out. once twice okay went through that twice and I'm just gonna go through the eye socket like so that's all I'm gonna do this time and then I'm gonna tie it on with some bait thread but basically that's how I'm gonna make my light bait rig it's now a dead bait rig but I'm gonna use some um, some uh, not dental floss but some bait thread I'm just gonna secure that I'm gonna use that on my new rig it's not pretty but I really had to get it on because it's too soft it was in the freezer too long it's better with fresh because it's firm but Let's see what happens. It does have to do a hook on it, the trailer, I mean. So let's see what happens.
this one I put out a country mile 14 feet 2 inches look at that angle I, I got it way out there easy I probably hit maybe 90 100 yards in that one I cranked that one I didn't care if I lost the bait but I tied it in so well so as you can see the trigger I have the casting trigger here this really helps I have more confidence casting and I'm sure that I'm getting the distance I'm getting now because of the casting trigger by boiling tuna but it sounds like a commercial but it's true this casting trigger though it has this area over here that you can put your clip on um, the alijos reel has um, the brackets over here that you can put your stud on and I do have the extra studs I didn't put it on yet I just want to try it without it first and either way I think with or without it's okay but I think if you're on a boat or especially kayak you're going to need this for harness something may be wrong the line's supposed to be going that way it's slack and it's going this way so I don't know what's going on let me tighten up here Something small, but there is something there. Okay. Oh yeah, something's there. Something small. It's kind of hoping for a bigger load, but we definitely got to get here. Oh man, I love this. Ah, I should take it off the ratchet. Sorry. I just love that ratchet noise. Well, whatever is small, but it took the whole bait. Ah, oh, it came off. Oh shoot. It came off just before it got up here. It came off, but look at that. It shredded it up. It literally shredded up the bait, but it worked. Look at that. Oh man, oh well. Try it again. Hey guys, just had a hit on this. It was a small hit, but it was a big enough fish to actually grab a whole opelu about that big and just take off with it. So I just brought it up and I saw some dark figures in the water. Oh, dark figure in the water just when it was coming up and then nothing. So I got my five ounce back and on the end of the 60 pound liter, look at that. So whatever it was, tore up the bait. And the bait, as you when you can see, it was, it was a decent sized bait. So I don't know what it was. I really, I don't even want to take a guess, but it went bye-bye. So just gotta try again. Look at that line. Look at that, you can see it's shredded. I mean, the line is shredded, so. At least it held, but whatever it was, got off. So I just used same rig. I just shortened the line and retied it. And I just, because the meat's kind of soft already on these smaller pillows, what I did is I just put the hooks through the fish and I used bait thread. You see, I tied it on. So we'll see what happens. All right. What is this? Going to hold? There. Oh, he's out of the hole. Ah, oh, he may have spit the hook. Oh, jeez, miss. Yeah, he spit the hook. Can't come in this easy. Whatever it was, dug into a hole, came out of the hole, spit the hook. Great. Uh, check the bait. Yeah, took the bait. Oh well. Uh, this is just a simple thumb spin. Oops. <laughs>
Almost got away from me. You notice I just use one hand because the other hand is holding on to my cell phone. So it's just a simple um, thumb action here and just going to see how long this will last. You know, for a basic thumb spin, that wasn't too bad because I really didn't couldn't crank up on it. That's not bad at all. I mean, right now it just hit one minute. So it's still going. So when you put some weight on this, it'd be very interesting to see what kind of casting distance I have since it has a cast control. And it's a non-magnetic cast control. 